Are you frustrated with lag and low FPS ruining your CS2 gameplay? This video is exactly what you need. I'll walk you through simple yet effective steps to maximize your game's performance. After applying these optimizations, you'll experience smooth, lag-free gaming. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Now, let's get started and enhance your CS2 experience. CS2 players, are you ready to upgrade your skin collection? Welcome to skinsvip.com your go-to destination for scoring CS2 skins in a fun and rewarding way. Log in daily to claim exclusive rewards at no cost. Give the turntable a spin for a shot at winning amazing skins. The more you spin, the better the prizes. Collect free coins every day and redeem them for skins or extra spins to boost your chances. Plus, grab free cases. Simply deposit $2 within 24 hours to unlock your first case for free. Or, keep a $5 balance to claim a free case daily. Looking for more rewards? Use the code SLOPPY to receive an instant 0.80 cents and earn a 20% commission every time someone recharges using your code. And don't forget our massive giveaways packed with the top tier skins ready to be won. Use code SLAPPY and start winning today at Skins VIP. Improving your launch options can significantly enhance game startup speed and responsiveness. To start, open the CS2 launch options to fine tune your startup configuration. In Steam, go to your game library and find Counter-Strike 2. Right click on it, choose Properties, and open the General tab. You'll see a section where you can input launch options. Copy the full code from the video description and paste it into the designated field. Some parts of this code require you to specify your CPU cores plus one. To check your system's core count, open Task Manager, navigate to the Performance tab, and click on CPU. You'll see the total number of cores listed there. For example, if your system has eight cores, you should input nine in the launch options. Next, optimize the game's installed files for better performance. Go back to Steam and, in the Game Properties section, click Browse to open the game's installation folder. Inside, go to the bin directory, then Win64. Find the game's executable file, right-click it, and select Properties. Under the Compatibility tab, check the box for Disable Full Screen Optimization. Then click Change High DPI Settings and enable the related checkbox. Apply these settings and confirm by clicking OK. For further optimization, modify Steam's settings. Open Steam and access the Settings menu by right-clicking the Steam icon. In the Friends and Chat section, disable Animated Avatars. Then, in the Interface tab, turn off options such as Smooth Scrolling, GPU Accelerated Rendering, and Hardware Video Decoding. Under the Library tab, enable the first three options. These tweaks may seem small but significantly enhance Steam's responsiveness. Restart Steam after applying the changes. Alright guys, the next step is to download the CS2 Optimization Pack. The download link is available on my website. Check the description for details. Feel free to check this pack with any virus detection tool or website. It's completely virus-free. After downloading, extract the files to your desktop and open the folder. First, go to the Registry Optimization folder and install all the provided files. These registry files prioritize your system for gaming. To optimize your gaming performance in Counter-Strike using Process Lasso, start by running Process Lasso as an administrator on your PC. Next, launch Counter-Strike 2 and minimize it to keep it running in the background. Open Process Lasso and locate CS2.exe in the process list. Right-click on the process, go to Always under the CPU Priority menu, and set it to High. Then, adjust the CPU affinity by right-clicking the process again and ensuring all CPU cores are selected. Navigate to the Power Profile option and set it to Bitsum Highest Performance to maximize optimization. To further enhance performance, exclude the game process from Pro Balance by right-clicking the process and selecting Exclude from Pro Balance. Additionally, disable Idle Saver by going to the More menu, selecting Disable Idle Saver, and clicking OK. Finally, enable No Throttle under the Hard Throttle menu by selecting Always and confirming the setting. Once all tweaks are applied, close the game and ensure that Process Lasso remains open whenever you're gaming to make the changes effective. Following these steps will help you achieve smoother gameplay and maximize your system's performance. Managing storage settings can help your system automatically clear unnecessary files and stay organized. Open your system settings, then open the storage option in the system settings and enable storage sense. 
set it to clean up files weekly for consistent performance. Additionally, disable Remote Desktop in the System menu unless you actively use it, as this feature consumes system resources that could be better utilized elsewhere. Adjusting advanced system settings improves performance by reducing visual effects while maintaining usability. Navigate to the About section in the System menu and select Advanced System Settings. Under Performance, click Settings and choose Adjust for Best Performance. However, leave Enable Peak, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging, and smooth edges of screen fonts enable to strike a balance between performance and usability. In the Advanced tab, ensure Programs is prioritized over background services. Tweaking mouse settings can enhance precision and control, particularly for gaming. In the Devices section of Settings, go to Mouse and click Additional Mouse Options. Under the Pointer Options tab, set the pointer speed to the default 6 out of 11 and uncheck Enhance Pointer Precision. This disables mouse acceleration, which many professional gamers prefer for better accuracy. Apply the changes and click OK. Disabling transparency effects reduces visual processing demands, improving performance without compromising appearance. Go to Personalization in the Settings menu, select Colors, and toggle off transparency effects. This change ensures smoother performance, particularly for resource-intensive tasks. In the next step, we will adjust in-game settings for further improvement. Optimizing your display settings ensures you get the best visual experience while maintaining smooth performance. Start by adjusting the aspect ratio to 16.9, which is the most common for modern monitors and will provide the most balanced gameplay experience. For your resolution, make sure it matches your monitor's native resolution to ensure the game looks crisp and clear. In the advanced video settings, making small adjustments can greatly improve gameplay clarity and responsiveness. First, enable Boost Player Contrast. This will make enemies more visible by increasing the contrast, making it easier to spot them during fast-paced gameplay. Next, turn off Vertical Sync to avoid any input lag. Disabling this ensures that every frame is processed without delay, which is crucial for precise actions. Enable NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency and set it to plus boost. This reduces latency and boosts your system's responsiveness, especially during intense moments. For multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode, if you're playing at a lower resolution, enabling it can smooth out jagged edges. However, if you're using a higher resolution, you can leave it off to preserve performance without sacrificing quality. Adjusting shadow and texture settings can have a significant impact on both performance and visuals. Lowering global shadow quality to low will boost FPS, but will reduce the detail in shadows, which might make it harder to detect enemies hiding in shadowed areas. For dynamic shadows, set it to all for full shadow details. This enhances immersion without significantly affecting FPS. In modeling texture details, set it to high for sharper textures on models, which adds realism and depth to your game. This is a setting most modern systems can handle well. Set Texture Filtering Mode to 16x for the clearest textures without a major FPS hit. Keep Shadow Detail on high for more realistic shadows that enhance visual fidelity without seriously affecting performance. For Particle Detail, set it to low. Particle effects like smoke and explosions can drain FPS, and reducing their detail improves performance. Ambient Occlusion should be set to medium. It provides depth to the lighting in your game without significantly lowering FPS. Finally, turn off High Dynamic Range (HDR). While HDR can enhance visuals, it's often not necessary and can negatively impact performance. So guys, that was today's video. Hit the like button, make sure to subscribe. Feel free to ask any question in comment box. Peace out.